All right, so now we want to talk a little bit about the differences of the quantum block and the infinity block. In general, um, I want to say that you should not have any of these devices very close to each other. So what I'm doing right now is not recommended. So we recommend between the different infinity blocks as well as the quantum blocks or any of these combinations, at least two meters um, separation. That's very important for them to function properly, to have their own space. It's basically like us humans, we don't like to be with, a, with another human um, just right back to back and then just stand there all the time. It's like we, we want our space, we need our space in order to move properly to do things. And uh, that's just an analogy, obviously. So put this aside for a moment here. And so the quantum block has a core quantum energy space inside. So does the infinity block. The quantum energy space inside here is not as concentrated as in the infinity block. This quantum block has 90 so-called quantum consciousness levels and the basic infinity block has already 600. That's both quite a lot and it's both very powerful already. Um, now this one has an outer field of 35, 40 meters roughly, that's about 130, 145 feet. And this outer field harmonizes and neutralizes EMF as well as other uh, various negative frequencies and does not mean though that the field out here is like in here. That's it's actually a big difference. So out here it's soft in a way. It does all these great wonderful things. It's like an energetic Feng Shui at home. Really optimizes the space. But inside here, it's, it's very strong, it's very concentrated. And you usually would feel it even physically if you put your hands in there that you feel a little tingling as an example. We've talked about all the various things it does. There are different videos about it. The impact on the blood and the impact on um, the organs and the energetic system. So we don't wanna focus on that today, but we want to explain the differences. So now you can charge objects with the quantum block. And in the infinity block, if we use that one, we'll just swap this out now. You can charge objects in the infinity block with even more quantum energy. So you take the same object, you can charge it in the quantum block. Let's say this watch which I've actually already put in the quantum block in an earlier video. And now to showcase. And so if I leave it in there in the quantum block for three minutes, one to three minutes, it'll be basically full. It's like a full glass. You know, you can't get any more water in there. It's just no more quantum energy. Now, because this one is so much stronger, this is actually the second generation already. So it would be not only is six and a half times stronger than the quantum block, but again, then seven times stronger than the basic infinity block, just so you know. And I can put my watch in there, and now suddenly more quantum energy can actually get in here. And it's very important, we're not talking the strength, quantum energy strength is kind of almost a misleading word because we we think when we think about strength as something that, wow, that's just gonna push us. Here we're really talking about higher vibration, higher quantum consciousness levels, and more op opportunity levels. And you will typically notice that. Um, you will feel it if you have an object, let's say some jewelry, a ring, or a watch, and you put it in the quantum block, afterwards you'll see the difference. But you'll also see, see the difference in this watch, for example, and this was already enough time, the vibration is now higher. It radiates in a different way. People that can see energy will notice this now, even in the video, and uh, it's just absolutely energetically beautiful. So 
you can do this way faster here. Please look up the recommendations and descriptions about timing and all of that um, uh, on the website. Now this um, infinity block again has a very concentrated quantum energy space inside here and has this outer field out here. Now this field is, has about a kilometer of a radius. Um, and to about half of that, let's say 500 meters, 400, 500 meters, it still neutralizes and harmonizes uh, EMF um, in all that uh, proximity and still harmonizes a little bit of the EMF in this outer field of 500 to 1000 meters, which is a kilometer. So uh, those are the uh, main differences in regards to radius and strength. But then there are a couple of things to mention. You know, some people ask, okay, so why should I get a quantum block if I could have an infinity block which has even more power and more capabilities and all of that? And there are very good reasons to get a quantum block uh, as well or, or just solely that one and not the infinity block. So for beginners in general, we recommend the quantum block just because the energy level may be too high with an infinity block right out of the gate. So you may want to just get used to it, feel the energy, work with it, and then you can upgrade your way into an infinity block. And the other very important reason though is that if you wanted to charge um, pharmaceuticals and neutralize, harmonize um, their frequencies, then we don't recommend it in the infinity block because it's so strong. What it does is it adds homeopathic levels that are extremely strong and it's like quantum frequency medicine and you can't, you can't estimate how strong the substance will be afterwards. So that's why we don't recommend to do it here. The quantum block is really designed to do that. We have exact descriptions uh, on how long you would have to have a substance in there uh, for it to work well. And then you could also basically create real quantum frequency medicine, let's say out of supplements or pharmaceuticals that you charge onto a card so that you don't have to take the physical substance, but just the energetic substance, which in some cases may really not be exactly the same. But again, the infinity block for that is too strong. So if you or into this kind of stuff, you want to be your own homeopath or quantum frequency medicine guy, um, then please uh, use the quantum block for that. We have both also, even as a company, we do, we use both devices because the quantum block is always the one we use when we copy frequencies. That's just for us the way to go. Then if we want to add higher vibration to it, uh, then we use the infinity block.